sweetie, how are you doing today? Okay, listen, I have got to tell you what I saw today. What happened? I saw this girl with pink hair. Can you believe it? And you know what she was doing? She was painting furniture. Uh, okay. Who cares, Grandma? Did she like hold you down and make you dye your hair pink? No, it's not just hair. She's probably uneducated. She's probably uneducated. Doesn't know a thing. I mean, she looked like trash. I couldn't even. Well, Grandma, you don't know that. You don't know, you don't know anything about her. There was this piece from like the 1950s when I was younger and she's painting it, painting that furniture. Can you believe it? Grandma, 50 year old antique is not a thing. It has to be a hundred years old. Well, I can't concentrate. Her hair is distracting. It's just downright not right. Well, were they bothering you? Well, I mean, she did nothing to me. Oh my gosh. Why are you judging her? You don't even know her. Oh. Hmm. Well, Grandma, come on. Let's just come inside. Let's have a chat. Hey guys, welcome to 10 Minute Tuesday. So I know that that skit was a little bit more serious than I normally do, but I did wanna say May is Mental Health Awareness Month and it can be kind of tough for people in our, what we do. And especially if you're an influencer or you put yourself out there, you put your work out there, you put videos out there, things like that. So I do wanna go over a couple questions and then I wanna talk a little bit more about that because I do get questions about that and I made that video for a reason. So I'm gonna put 10 minutes on the clock. Boom, 10 minutes. Oh, I don't even know if you can see that. Okay, so 10 minutes is on the clock. I had a question about hemp oil. So hemp oil is food safe. So you can use it on cutting boards, you can use it on utensils. You can use it over furniture. You can use it over stain and paint but it does fade over time. And so it's one of those things that you may have to reapply. It's a really good sealer, but it's kind of like wax where you have to reapply it, you know, every year and a half, something like that. A little bit, it goes a little bit longer than wax, but it's something that you'll have to reapply, but it's all natural and it makes your stuff look beautiful. So if you're okay with that, then that's something that you may want to consider. Now, I had a question about wax and clear coat. Okay. So most companies, their wax is uh, oil-based and their clear coats are water-based. So oil and, and water do not mix, right? But I use Dixie Bell and their formulas are, it's like this scientific thing, like proprietary blend, blah, 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 whatever. There's a scientific reason. So they have created it to where they're, they're top coat can go over the wax. Now, if you're using those products and you want to top coat over your wax, and some people say, well, why would you wanna do that? If you, let's say that you paint a piece and then you do dark wax and you don't wanna wax the entire piece, you can clear coat over it to give it extra protection. Plus some people, they don't want to have to redo the dark wax or maybe you know a year ago or whatever, or maybe a few months ago you did a wax piece and realized that you have to reapply wax and now you wanna clear coat it. You can, wax does not last, but it's gotta be Dixie Belle products. And you have to buff it really well. So you apply the wax and you wait 15 to 20 minutes after you apply your wax. Well, first of all, you apply your wax, you take any excess off. Then you wait 15 to 20 minutes after you apply your wax and you're gonna buff it with a rag. That's what's gonna get that wax into your finish really nice and allow it to dry. And you want that wax to be dry, okay? So you want it to be dried and you want it to start curing before you put a top coat on there. 
If you don't buff your wax, you're just gonna have a layer of wax sitting on your piece and it's never gonna dry because it's a layer of wax that hasn't been buffed into the finish. So hopefully that makes sense. So with Dixie Belle products, wax is not last. You can interchange them, but with products that are oil-based and water-based, don't do it, okay? So like I said, I can't speak for other companies that have water-based wax, so I'm only speaking for Dixie Belle products at this point. Okay, now I had a question about what are affiliate links and why do I keep seeing them? Okay, so an affiliate link is something that a company gives to an influencer or somebody that is meant to, so like I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Belle Paint Company, right? And I also work with Surf Prep and other couple of other different companies. And so I have an affiliate link because I get a commission if someone, so let's say that I do a YouTube video, right? And you really, really like it. And I give you the products and all the links in the description. And if you click on that link, it doesn't cost you extra to use someone's affiliate link, but it takes away from, so the, the company itself pays me. So you go and click and it does nothing. It doesn't cost you the money. It costs the company that I work with the money. So you're taking money from the company, which is better. So you're not only supporting your favorite artist, whether it's someone on YouTube or blogs or whatever, you're not only supporting that person by just clicking that link and ordering through there versus just going to the website, but you are also, um, it's kind of like a thank you, you know, with affiliate links, it's they're hit or miss. I never like to push my affiliate links on people, but I always appreciate it. And I know that other artists do. So it's kind of like a commission based job. You know, when you had someone that worked at Dillard's and they helped you out and then they get a commission from it, it's the same exact thing. So it doesn't cost you anything. It's the money is coming from the company. So that's what an affiliate link is. Now, if you are interested in affiliate links, you can contact companies. They do sometimes have requirements as far as like, what's your audience like? What's your influence like? What kind of engagement do you have? Things like that. So if that's something you're interested in, a lot of times when you go to the company, let's say you go to, uh, you know, cowboyboots.com. I'm just making that up. When you go all the way down to the bottom of their page, they'll say it'll have like affiliate program. And some people have affiliate programs, some people don't. And the only thing you can do is just try. Just apply and try, and if you get it, then that's awesome. If you don't, then try again. See what you the requirements are as far as like, oh, I have to have 5,000 people on my Facebook, and then I can get a link. So if that's something that you're aiming towards, then aim towards it. Which brings me to the next topic. So we have about four minutes. Okay, I made that first skit because I have pink hair, right? Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my history, not because I feel like I need to somehow validate myself or for the reasons why I do what I do, but because it shows that you don't know a person, okay? I'm a veteran. I was in the Air Force. I had a, a government job. I have nine years of a government career. I have donated a kidney. I have a master's degree. I'm, so I'm educated, I have work experience. I have been working since the day I could work. I left home at 18 and went to the military, okay? Some people, I don't know, in the past, it's been you know, on my YouTube and other things, and people are like, oh, her hair's distracting. Listen, you never know somebody. You don't know somebody, and so when you, when you put yourself out there, okay, you're gonna get negativity. I don't say that to be negative, I'm just saying that to prepare you. So if it's something that you wanna be, if you wanna be an influencer, you wanna have a YouTube, you wanna you know, do Facebook Lives, it's gonna happen. But let me tell you the kind of people that you get that are negative. One are trolls, there's people who make accounts just to troll you, fine, whatever. They make an account and they say, I hate your pink hair, and then they never come back because they were a troll. And they're just, that's their whole purpose in life. I don't understand it, but it happens. Two, these are people who are miserable with themselves and there's nothing that you can do anyways. So it's better to just ignore them. And three, it's people who are ignorant, who judge people for reasons that they shouldn't be judging them. They judge people for, 
you know, the color of their hair, the color of their skin, where they live, their economic status, who they are, all that stuff. Those are the, so there's three kinds of people and they're not your kind of people. Okay. If someone, like I said, I got a comment on my YouTube that it was a backhanded comment and I commented back because my husband said, well, Kirstano, why don't you just comment back and just say, I'm sorry that offends you. And I'm like, why don't I just delete it? So, but it said, um, your hair is distracting, but thanks for the, thanks for the lesson. Like, is that, that's like super like passive, like how you just, said you didn't like my hair, but thanks for teaching you. Like, go away. Go find somebody else to follow then. You know what I mean? So again, what I'm saying is, is that when you put yourself out there, how do you deal with negativity? Normally, I just ignore it. When I first started, it bothered me, but I'm not gonna change who I am. I'm not gonna change my hair color. My hair is pink because I want it to be that way, and because you only live once, YOLO, I don't care. I'm an educated person and I've had a career and now I'm doing what I want. I'm an artist, I'm doing what I love. And if people don't like that I have pink hair, then they're not my people. So just remember that. Those people are not your people. When you put yourself out there and they're negative, it's awful because for you put a piece of furniture out there and you get a hundred positive comments and that one negative comment just eats in your head, needs in your head. Do not let people live rent free in your head. Don't, don't let them do it. Like I said, a lot of times these people make comments and they never come back to your page. They don't really care. They don't care, but they do it because either they're trolls or they're just unhappy with themselves. So remember that, please remember that. If there is something that I've learned, I have been ripped apart for painting furniture. I've been told I was lazy. I'm destroying things. I mean, I have heard it up and down and up and down. And if I let people get to me, then I wouldn't be able to create and influence and share my art and the things I love with the people who are my people. So if you wanna be an influencer and you put yourself out there, you are going to get people who are mean. It's going to happen. I'm sorry, I hate it, I wish it didn't happen, but it will. But you need to remember that you are above that those are not your people. That is not your audience. Though that's not your tribe, okay? And if you can remember that, if you can remember, it's 10 minutes, I knew it was coming. If you can remember that those people are not worth that rent-free space, they cannot live rent-free in your head, then you're ready, you can do it. Lean on other people, lean on other artists. And by the time that you put yourself out there so much, you'll find that you have people who are your tribe and they'll usually take care of that negativity for you. So I made that skit. I know it's normally funny, but I made that skit because people say stuff about my hair and how I'm distracting and how, how a pretty girl can do that to her hair. Like it's just hair people. It's just hair. It's not that big of a deal. And you know, painting furniture and how can you paint furniture? And, and let me tell you a tip. In order to be an antique, it's gotta be 100 years or older. So a lot of these people who are like, you painted that, it's, it's whatever. And it's only a piece of furniture is only worth what someone will buy, buy it for. And a lot of times it's not very much. So I know this wasn't as fun and normally as it normally is. I hope it was at least empowering for you or I hope that if you were on the fence about putting yourself out there, do it, do it. You know what I mean? It just don't let people get to you. Anyways, I love you guys. I will see you next week and have an awesome week and see you next Tuesday.